Well, I think given that what we were talking about, 150,000 dead uh, through people who still refuse to follow regulations or did at that period, I, I, I sit on the very hard edge of enforcement and hard edge of punishment for people who risk for selfish reasons or disbelief in science spreading the virus. However, I think where we should be looking at, if we're getting poor leadership, which it appears to be the case from senior civil servants, even the prime minister, we should be looking in that direction. Because I've seen the photograph of him sat in the garden uh, with his wife uh, and a couple of other people and a group of others, 19 in the back garden. You know, if it looks like it, smells like it, tastes like it, it pretty much looks like a breach of the regulations, in which it defies belief to think the prime minister did not know that his staff were doing that, or indeed, was it right that they were sat in the back garden? Of course, there is a problem, but it's also his private dwelling house. So you would, have been, would at that time have been allowed to have a couple of people in your garden uh, for a gathering. But I think it, it comes down to the question of this. The public should know what went on. I think there is an independent investigation going on at the moment with the, uh, a, a very senior civil servant. Once that reports back, if there is the slightest sniff of a regulation, regulation breach, mm -hmm. my own view is this should go for further investigation by the police, yeah. not by the Metropolitan Police, okay. because they are not independent yeah. in this for the reasons I've outlined.